So in this video, let's solve an inhomogeneous uh, differential equation. Um, I'll use the uh, example where the inhomogeneous term is an exponential function, and we'll do the full solution in this video where we, where we also satisfy the two initial conditions. Okay, so remember it's a three-step process. So the first step is to solve the homogeneous equation. Um, we try our usual ansatz, try x equals e to the rt. So the right-hand side now is zero in the homogeneous equation. So we get the characteristic equation, r squared minus 3r minus 4 equals zero. Uh, we see if it's factorable, so 4 is um, 4 times 1. So we can have a minus 4 and a plus 1. So r minus 4 r plus 1 equals 0 is the factor. And then so we have uh, two roots. So we have the homogeneous solution then is equal to um, a constant times e to the 4t plus another constant times e to the minus so we found the homogeneous solution. In step two, we have to find the uh, particular solution. Um, so how do we find the particular solution? We're looking for any solution of the differential equation so that uh, when you substitute x into the left-hand side, we get 3e e to the 2t. Um, so what should we try to substitute for x? Uh, we would like to convert the differential equation into an algebraic equation. So we would like to match the e to the 2t term on the right-hand side. So if we substitute in x equal to a constant times e to the 2t, we can get the e to the 2t term to cancel. So in this uh, second step, we're looking for the particular solution. So we can try uh, x equals some unknown constant times e to the 2t. So a now is our uh, unknown parameter that we're going to try and solve by substituting this into the differential equation. So when we start taking derivatives, we're always going to have an e to the 2t, 2t term on both sides of the equation. And we can cancel the e to the 2t term. So let's substitute in. We'll cancel the e to the 2t term. So x double dot will bring down uh, 2 times 2. So x double dot will give us a 4a minus 3x dot will be minus 3a times 2, so minus 6a. Minus 4x will be minus 4a. And that will be equal to 3 on the right-hand side. So I've canceled the e to the 2t term, converted to an algebraic equation. So 4a minus 4a is 0. So minus 6a equals 3 says a is equal to minus 1 half. Okay, so we've got the particular solution. So we've got the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. So then we're on to step three, which is to write x as a sum of the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. Okay, this x is the particular solution particular solution. So let me write xp here. Okay, so we uh, put it together. So this is equal to uh, the homogeneous solution. So c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the minus t plus the uh, particular solution. So minus 1 half times e to the 2t. Okay, 
and then we satisfy the two initial conditions. So using this form for x of t, the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution, we need x of 0 equals 1. So x of 0 equals 1. So x of 0, um, we'll get c1 plus c2 minus 1 half equals 1. x of 0 equals 1 x dot of 0 equals 0, if we take the derivative of this and put in t equals 0, we'll get um, 4c1 minus c2, and then the derivative will be minus uh, 1, and that's supposed to be equal 0, x dot of 0 equals 0. So this is a uh, 2 linear equations, so let me uh, write that here in a different color so you can see. C1 plus C2 equals 3 halves. And the second one will be 4C1 minus C2 equals 1. Okay, so that's our two e linear equations for the two unknowns, C1 and C2. Uh, what are the solutions here? Um, we can add them, right? And then the C2 will go away. We'll get 5C1 is equal to 5 halves, right? Adding them, 5C1 equals 3 halves plus 2 halves is 5 halves. So uh, C1 equals 1 half, right? So by adding them, we get C1 equals 1 half, and then we get C2, so 1 half plus 1 is equal to 3 halves, so C2 is equal to um, uh, 1. Okay, so we get our final solution. Um, uh, we can write it in a nice form, so let me write it down here on the bottom here, very uh, small light board. So we put it together, so we get x of t. I'm going to put it in uh, dominant terms first. So the, f the dominant term here is c1 e to the 4, 4t, so that's 1 half e to the 4t. The next term is minus one half e to the two t. And the least dominant term is this decaying term. So c2, one times e to the minus t plus e to the minus t. Okay, and that's our solution then. This solves both the differential equation and the initial conditions. Um, we could write it in a slightly nicer form. We can uh, factor out the uh, 1 half e to the 4t, and then we can have a 1, and then we have a 1 half here e to the 2t, so that will be a minus e to the minus 2t. And then the uh, factoring out a 1 half e to the 4t will have a plus 2 e to the minus 5t. Okay? And that's a little bit cleaner form because you see that the solution grows like 1 half e to the 4t and then everything else will eventually decay to 0. Okay, so let me summarize. We're solving now a second order linear inhomogeneous equation, but also with constant coefficients. Uh, we're using a uh, two-step, uh, three-step process. We found the homogeneous solution here. Uh, a new step is to find a particular solution. Uh, the ansatz we use to find a particular solution depends on the form of the inhomogeneous term. If the inhomogeneous term is an exponential function, we use an exponential function ansatz. 
we have this, we match the e to the 2t, but we have a free parameter here. When we substitute into the differential equation, we can determine the free parameter. Here it's a equals minus one half. In the third step, we combine both the, we add the homogeneous and the particular solution. We have two free constants, so we use those two free constants to satisfy the two initial conditions. So we can determine C1 and C2, write a solution, and then if we want to clean it up, we can um, collect the, the dominant term, factor out the dominant term. Okay? In the next uh, videos, we'll see how to find particular solutions for uh, other types of right-hand sides. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.